What's up guys, Tony here with High Tech Check, and I just received a brand new update on my Tesla Model 3. As you can see, we're on version 2019.16.2. So we're going to see uh, what brand new updates uh, just came out. As you can see right here, we have a little uh, new icon at the top. That is for your sentry mode. It just makes it easier for you to turn the sentry mode on and off. You just tap the button, turns your sentry mode on, so you don't have to go into your app or anything. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the release notes. Okay, so first up, we have a driving visual visualization. Um, so basically, it looks like it zooms in and out for a better screen space uh, utilization uh, to inform you when the vehicle is detected in your blind spot. Uh, the vi visualization remains zoomed out when, the, when driving on highways. So that's pretty cool. We have the sentry mode improvement where, where I basically told you about that new button up here. Um, you can just click on that so you don't have to worry about going into any of the settings uh, so you can get into sentry mode a lot easier. So here we have the lane departure avoidance. Now I'm wondering if this came about because some of uh, the accidents that have happened, and I've always wondered about this, um, why uh, Tesla wouldn't make the car, you know, kind of automatically correct lane departure if, you know, the car was kind of drifting, even when it was out of uh, autopilot, because, you know, God forbid, uh, somebody's having a seizure or something like that. Um, you know, the car would kind of keep you in your lane. And that's what uh, looks like they've done here. So basically what it does is it, it's designed to warn you or assist you with correct corrective steering if it detects your vehicle unintentionally starting to drift out of the driving lane uh, without a turn signal engaged. And to engage this, you go into your autopilot, uh, lane departure avoidance, uh, and, and select it. So there's two types. There's assist, warning, and then just turn it off. So the assist, um, your car will attempt to correct the steering back into your driving lane if you know you unintentionally start drifting, um, if you're traveling between 25 and 90 miles an hour. Uh, when steering intervention occurs, the designated lane line is highlighted in blue. That's for the assist. The warning, your steering wheel vibrates when your unintended lane departure is detected uh, and off uh, disables both of those. So I would probably say put on assist. Well, I mean, why not? It's just going to help you. You know, like I said, God forbid if an, any emergency happened or something like that, the car would automatically help keep you in your lane. Um, and that's a, a really good feature. I'm glad that they added. The next one is emergency lane departure avoidance. Uh, to improve safety, emergency lane departure avoidance is designed to steer your vehicle back into the driving lane if a potential collision is detected. When emergency steering intervention occurs, the designated lane line is highlighted in red, a warning on the touchscreen is displayed, and a chime will sound. This setting is always enabled when you start your car, but can be turned off for a single drive by going to controls, autopilot, emergency lane avoidance. So that's another great um, safety feature that Tesla implemented here, and I'm really happy to see that they put something like this on there. The next one is software update preference. So basically now um, there's a setting you go into and you, when you turn it on, you can get software updates as soon as they're available. Not, you know, not, you know, a couple weeks after it's, it's already been out, you're going to get them right away. So this one, you now have the option to receive new software updates as they become available for your car configuration and region. Uh, you can go into controls, software, software update preference, advanced. Um, and they've also added Swedish language support for anybody who's interested in that. So it looks like here. So we go into your car. We go into autopilot. Scroll down and you'll see lane departure avoidance. Uh, assist warning and off. And also emergency lane departure avoidance. I put those both on. I Like I said, I can't imagine why you would not want those on. It's just going to help you, uh, you know, not get into an accident, God forbid, if anything happened. So, um, again, here is the little sentry mode icon. So you just hit that and it turns on sentry mode, 
hit it again and it turns it off. It's just that simple. Very cool. Very nice. So that's pretty much it for this update. I will be putting out more videos as the updates come along. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, uh, don't forget to do that. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and hit that little notification bell to let you know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.